It's April, 2020. The only real reason the date matters is that we're all living through a pretty exceptional moment in time. Millions of us around the world are sitting at home, practicing social distancing. And we were curious, how were other people feeling? So we reached out to our filmmaking community and spoke with eight filmmakers in eight countries to document their home isolation stories. My name is Beryl. I'm a senior producer at Great Big Story, and I have been in home isolation for 21 days. And I know that I'm not alone. I've been in social isolation for five days. I've been in social isolation for 16 days now. I've been in social isolation for 24 days. We're on day 25 of the quarantine. It's been 29 days. Mi chiamo Elena Ardini. Vivo a Roma. Sono in isolamento sociale da 30 giorni. Salam, I'm Mahrubay Sultani, I'm from Sakhen Mashhad. Tagriban yek mahe ke tu khone quarantine hastim. Wa jiao Kang Ni, ah, wo zhu zai Beijing. Ah, jin tian shi wo di 60 tian de zhi wo ge li. Pretty sure that the situation in Hungary is similar to a lot of places in the U.S. I think what we're realizing is around the world, in terms of the contagion and the spread, that doesn't really know any borders. The whole of Spain has been effectively locked down. We're forbidden by the government from going outside unless it's to go to the shops or the pharmacy. You risk receiving a fine of up to 2,000 euros if they catch you walking around in pairs or in groups. So I'm in isolation at my family's house. I'm out the back in the tent that you can see behind me. I arrived in Australia just after the government announced that everybody who arrived internationally had to quarantine for 14 days. We were ordered by our government here in the Philippines to be in an enhanced home quarantine. L'Italia è tutta bloccata, hanno chiuso tutto da nord a sud. Roma è sempre stata molto caotica. Un po' di silenzio va bene, così è tanto. We've seen enough in Spain and Italy that this is the right thing to do. So, now, although we are still in the pandemic, we have ordered most نه متاسفانه من ترجیح میدادم دولت قرنطینه رو اجبار کنه به خاطر اینکه خیلی از آدما اهمیت نمیدن به این موضوع ولی من به اجبار نه Here in New York City the situation is pretty much the same. The city is in essence closed and we have all been asked to stay indoors. In this new world we have had to create our own new normal. I start my morning with coffee. Business as usual. The day starts with coffee, lots of coffee. I make coffee. We usually make enough coffee to drink all day. della frutta, una centrifuga o un succo d'arancia e poi mi prendo un caffè. I'm a teacher normally and all of my classes have moved online. So at the moment I wake up at about 7:30 a.m. to teach an hour long class. Hi Claudia, good afternoon. 早上起来以后呢,一般我会跟儿子下来一起吃早餐。Right now, all the days are generally blurring into one another. I'll get up, I'll make myself a coffee, read the news, which at the moment is, you, know, you never know what's happened overnight. There's a cat, you know, I'll watch the cat wander by. Everybody wave. 
I'm lucky, I'm able to work from home. But my husband and my one bedroom apartment has become two people's home office and shared living space. So we're just trying to not step on each other. Say hi. I'm in isolation with my boyfriend, Tim. Can you stop frowning? I'm not frowning. You're frowning I'm... at me. No, no, I'm like trying to focus on the camera and stuff. Please don't take it personally. Okay, ugh. So my dad is here, my sister. Thank you. And my niece. My dad's 73 though and is in a high risk group. So it's really important that for these 14 days there is as much social isolation as possible. So yeah, I'm sleeping in the tent and I'm outside all the time. Sono isolata con Luca, il mio compagno e il nostro gatto John. Man, ba hamsaram, amiratar, va pesaram, sohrab. I'm in home isolation, fortunately, with my wife, Sarah. She's behind the camera right now. I don't think it worked. Sarah's right behind the camera right now. <laughs> it's you. God damn it. Sarah's behind the camera right now. Hello. <laughs> so I'm in social isolation with my husband, Richard, and my daughter, Alex, who's making this film. I'm currently in home isolation with my mom and my dad. Being here at home with my parents can get annoying sometimes, but for the no, most part, <laughs> what's wrong that. with that? <laughs> what? I'm just saying the truth. No! <laughs> Can't I don't, say the don't truth? Don't say that right away. Say what? No, that's why I'm starting with it. Being here at home with my parents can be a little bit annoying sometimes, but for the most part, it's actually kind of nice. <laughs> so all of us, stuck in our homes, have come up with ways to pass the time. You're looking in my fridge, it's a right mess. Our days center around what should we get to eat, what should we cook. We've been trying to use this as an opportunity to perfect some Spanish dishes. Ta -da. Today we'll be cooking tinola. It's a Filipino dish. It's a chicken soup with vegetables. It's really good and tasty. Quindi si balla e questo mi aiuta moltissimo. I'm getting old, so I do need to do them a Pilates bendiness. We've been doing some workouts on the roof. My living room has become my gym. There's some exercise equipment here, so I ride on the exercise bike. There's a rowing machine. I'll occasionally, you know, do a row on the rowing machine. We have a person we look up on YouTube and then we just follow her. There has been a lot of wine drinking. Love that noise. I will say. <laughs> I've been doing FaceTimes with my parents and having happy hours with them. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I've connected with people, you know, by having, I guess, a, a video chat happy hour. Uh, 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 but Rummy Cup is a big one. We'd all love Rummy Cup. My parents like to play table games, especially Scrabble. But let's be honest, a lot of time is spent like this.
We're all going through an unprecedented moment in history. Creating these routines at home feels so important because what's happening outside, we have no control over. La cosa che mi spaventa di più è è non sapere, è non sapere quando questo finirà. I can't walk outside, I can't see my friends, I can't go to the shops when I want to, which is obviously which is obviously quite unnerving. My fiance and I were supposed to be getting married this year, but I'm not sure when we'll be getting married anymore. I suppose really I'm actually anxious and scared for my whole country. Uh,他设定了非常好的隔离系统。那他出去的时候,他外面会穿很多的这个其他的冬天的衣服,然后呢,护目镜啊,口罩啊,手套啊,等等。تو این شرایطی که الان برامون پیش اومده من هر روز خدا رو شکر میکنم وقتی شب میخوام و صبح از خواب بیدار میشم چون میگم که من هزاران قدم جلوتر از اون آدم هایی هستم که گرفتار چنین ویروسی شدن استاتو دیکراتو دیشمو لوتو ناسیونالی گوورن ها کیستو دی تری جورنی دی سیلنسیو سیلنسیو توتالی پر Per tutti i morti che ci sono, il nord Italia. We also have to figure out how can we keep on living, how can we keep on uh, being human beings. In talking to everybody, we learned that while we may be alone in our homes, we aren't actually alone. From this isolation has come community, in some really surprising ways. You know, society is not made up of a bunch of individuals, it's made up of thousands and thousands of layers of relationships, um, and they're vital for life. In a way, this situation has brought the world a little bit closer together. I've been reading about the, you know, the big and the small acts of kindness that people have been involved in. Happy birthday, Grandma. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to say that sometimes it makes me cry. Hi, baby Mila. <laughs> Every night, everybody comes together at 8 p.m. and does this big applause and this big cheer and bangs their pots and pans to say thank you to health workers and the social workers and the people still working in shops. And it's really overwhelming and really emotional and really exciting and really lovely. And I burst into tears yesterday and I couldn't really explain why. I think it's just because we have no contact with the outside world and then it's this really beautiful and really unusual moment of everybody coming together and demonstrating that we're all in this together. Beh, qui ad esempio nel quartiere c'è un signore, io non riesco a vederlo però lo sento, lui tutti i giorni, a mezzogiorno e anche alle sei, si mette a fare un concerto con la sua fisarmonica. E io vedo la reazione di tutte le persone che stanno nel palazzo di fronte, c'è chi balla, c'è chi, chi canta con lui. Well, today is actually quite a special day. It's my 64th birthday. Happy birthday to I'm very much hoping that I'm going to have a very nice meal cooked tonight and there's some champagne in the fridge. Cheers. 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 Hey. <laughs> Our landladies live across the courtyard from us. When we got here, we didn't know any Hungarian. We still don't speak a ton. And we'll see them across the window and we'll wave and sometimes we'll get into conversations and They'll start shouting things in Hungarian to us and we'll try and figure them out from far away. You know, we all feel like we're kind of in this situation together. Noruz is a very important thing in Iran. 
نوروز فکر میکنم برای تمام ایرانیان یه حس یه حس شادی یه حس زندگی دوباره و امسال هم ما سعی کردیم حال خودمون رو خوب کنیم من تا دیشب قبل از سال نو اصلا حس این که بخوام سفره حفظیم بچینم و نداشتم گفتم چرا باید دوری کنم از این حس خوب هرچند که الان حال دنیا خوب نیست اما ما که میتونیم حال خودمون رو خوب کنیم Before this all happened, time felt linear, or at least it made more sense. What happened a week ago feels like a lifetime ago. And time is something that we always felt like we never had enough of. And now it's as if we have nothing but time, and it feels so strange. We know that eventually our doors will open back up, and we as a world will start to heal. So given this extra time, what have we done with it? قرنطینه نمیشه گفت خیلی خوبه ولی از یه لحاظ من فکر میکنم همه آدم ها رو آدم ها منظورم آدم های اعضای خانواده مثل همسر مثل فرزند این ماها رو به هم دیگه خیلی نزدیک کرده تو این تایم این قرنطینه تموم شد یه جشنی بگیرم و تمام خانواده‌مو که نتونستم تو این مدت بغلش کنم محکم بغلشون کنم و بگم چقدر خوشحالم از اینکه هنوز دارمشون یاد گرفتم که باید بیشتر قدر سلامتی اون بدونم تمام چیزایی که ما تو دنیا داریم خیلی زیباست که ما هیچ وقت اونا رو نمیدیدیم ا و گن و سنشن نه پیشو وی بیزار مان گونجو سویی نه سن زای و می یو بیزار دو ده شیجن و می یه هوی ا هو سیان ده لای تیاو خوان شیجن یی چی تراو گو های زی سویی چی شی های هاو و های تین سی خوان و می جو زای یی چی ده شن خو Everything's going to be okay. It'll be different and it won't be okay for everybody, but everything's going to be okay. During a time like this, you realize the importance of the people who work at the grocery store, you know. They're as essential to all of our survival right now as doctors and nurses. I think it's really nice for us to all learn how to slow down and not be frantically rushing around all the time. This experience has taught me how incredibly fortunate I am and I've got loved ones who love me. It makes you appreciate the very simple things in life, which is not a bad thing. It's definitely a time of rejuvenation and times that I can kind of just reflect and be excited about what I'm going to be doing after this time of solitude. We are all connected. We are all connected to the space and of time. Ho capito anche quanto è bello il contatto, delle volte lo diamo per scontato. È difficile pensare all'Italia, però penso che è sicuramente un paese che da secoli si reinventa e ci reinventeremo anche questa volta. <ride>